everyone out there in the real world. Welcome back to my Lego world and welcome to Daily's Bricks. Okay, welcome back and thank you for checking out our video today guys. Before we get started, please can I ask if you haven't done so, head on over to Instagram at dailies underscore ricks and also if you haven't done so already, please like and subscribe to this channel. If you haven't noticed, I might have done that in a different way this time, complete accident but we'll keep going with it. Okay, so. First disclaimer, I am really sorry that this is now coming to you after Halloween, okay? Massively sorry, but I've been a little bit busy, okay? I've been uh, at a, a big Comic Con here in the UK and just enjoying being able to actually do things again. So, sorry guys, but let's get cracking. So, it has been Halloween here, um, and I absolutely love Halloween. It is a fantastic time of year. Um, and then straight after Halloween we've got other family events and then you've got Christmas and stuff so I, like I've said previously in the past I absolutely love all this kind of stuff so what can I do this year it's a bit Halloweeny well one thing our city is massively missing is some sort of protection from the supernatural what could that be? who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Yes, so, no, unfortunately, it's not the Ghostbusters Firehouse. Hopefully one day I'll be bringing you a video of me having my hands on that set, the holy grail for me, um, and building it, and then placing it in our city, which I can't wait. But, unfortunately, I've not been able to track any affordable sets down yet, and I'm not holding my breath for it happening anytime soon. I might just have to keep saving some money and just bite the bullet and spend a lot of money on one more than I expected should I say but what we are going to build is the Ecto-1 so you might think well, which one? there's a few out there we are going to build the Lego IDs Ecto-1 and we're going to place that in our city so at least if the guys don't have a firehouse at least our city is going to be protected from those naughty ghosts so let's get cracking and let's start sharing this with you guys okay so here we have it this is the box as always i'll show you the box art to start with now what i will say is this is a second hand set i didn't buy this brand new but i got this on a fantastic deal from one of my lego contacts and this has always been one that i've always wanted um since getting back into lego over the last uh, couple of years unfortunately i missed the boat when it was originally released so it's it's one of those where you just haven't to wait until the the time's right or the deal's right and the deal was absolutely right on this it came already fully built so i've had to disassemble it so i am in a position to do this video and enjoy it because like any for, uh, second hand sets I don't really want to just get it after it's been built and then place it. I want to actually have the experience of building the set myself. So here is a box. If we get a little bit closer on in, really nice box design. As you can see, I, I like how it's got the, the little uh, black and yellow stripes like from the uh, the traps um, there. And then as you can see, that is what it looks like. And you've got the four Ghostbusters themselves. Now obviously we've got a new movie coming out soon as well, Ghostbusters Afterlife, which I am so excited to see as, you know, being a kid from the 80s, growing up in the 90s, I absolutely love Ghostbusters, they're fantastic, I love the cartoons and things like that as well, but the movies hold a special place in the heart for me, so to have these and have this set in the city, I am really looking forward to. So this is the uh, Lego Ideas set number six so one of the really early ones this is just, like i said it was already rebuilt and i put all the parts back in here after disassembling it so that's what that big shake of parts was here is the um outside of the uh, sorry the back side of the box as you can see you've got the set there and then all the ghostbusters there crossing the streams don't cross the streams but they've got to, haven't they, at one point. 
and then just a little bit of who you're going to call and this was obviously made for the 30th anniversary of the movie as well so i'm really excited to get this um started and build this and i'm going to share that with you right now the first part starts with building your minifigures so as we can see we've got the the four ghostbusters from the original two movies here rear egon peter and winston and they all look awesome as always with your lego minifigs they've got some really nice print details so you've got each of them have the little initials on the badges there we've got the faces they all have interchangeable faces as well and as you can see Ray and Egon both have radios and Winston has one of the traps and of course they've all got those important proton packs on the back oh razors on upside down so I'll have to sort that out in a second but yeah they're looking really really good there the proton packs nice little bit of detail on there and then you build this little base for them all to stand on which is obviously optional it's it'll be nice as a display piece but this isn't really going to be a display piece in our city the ghostbusters will be out and about in our city fighting crime i'm not fighting crime fighting ghosts now i guess ghosts might make crime i don't know but anyway so this is a manual nice little manual there picture on the box and one thing I've got to say is there's some nice little like details and, and stories about the, the movie and stuff in here and it's full of lots of little quotes and stuff as well and about making the Lego um, sets so as you can see here it has every so often little quotes from the movie so there Spengler I collect spores, moulds and fungus so yeah really good so now we've got the Ghostbusters build. We are going to start now building the actual Ecto-1. Well here we have it. Well not have it sorry. Um, we just a uh, kind of a nice little break point here of building Ecto-1. And as you can see it doesn't really look a lot right now. It's got basically the frame of the machine. The machine, the car. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, here. And at the back you can see that very important ghostbuster symbol and the registration plate which says ecto-1 new york so this is um 20 steps in we are on to this now and i'm enjoying it so far obviously nostalgia wise i absolutely love ghostbusters like i've already said so i've been looking forward to building this um it shouldn't take too long to build this but as always i like to just take my time and enjoy the build process there's no rush for this apart from trying to get a video out but hey ho i'll do it when it's ready so yeah so far this is 20 steps in and it's starting to take shape um shouldn't be too much longer and you'll start seeing it more looking like that ecto one we all know and love well a little bit more progress on ecto one as you can see you've got the the windscreen in now and the back windscreen and the hood is all built and it's really starting to take shape now so you can see that kind of iconic shape of the ecto one and most importantly on the front you've got the grill in there and that awesome license plate that tells you that this is ecto one so really starting to take shape now enjoying the build so far there's not really too much to say as as you can see it's still a bit of a shell of a vehicle but it's come along nice and quickly and soon our city will have the ghost buses to keep away those ghosts well here we are kind of in the final stretch now really so as you can see from when we last shared we've now got the sides on both sides of the car and it's got that lovely ghostbusters symbol on both sides there the fins being added in and most crucially for a car I guess the wheels are now on so the kind of final stretch of getting the Ecto-1 finished you're going to get the windows in here and then the roof and then kind of all the, the gadgets and gizmo that go on the roof but so far so good with this again really nice build good use of the parts throughout 
to give it that kind of smooth feel on here but with uh, the kind of rounded curved tiles and stuff um, and the slope tiles but all looks really good one thing I will say is underneath here this was a little bit tricky getting the wheels on you, you kind of you shove the wheel in and then you've got this brown bit to put in between and it literally as you can see just say fits in there so it's a bit fiddly getting that bit in luckily I don't have fat fingers so it's uh, it wasn't too bad but I could see it you know struggling for some people um, depending how you know dexter dexterous is that the right word I'm looking for your fingers are I don't know but yeah on to the last little bit now well all finished with Ecto-1 the Lego Ideas Ghostbusters set so as we can see here Ecto-1 is all done and dusted so last time of the last bit of update you saw the wheels and things was on but now we have the windows in and then the roof with all the gadgets and gizmos all the scientific kind of um, uh, equipment I guess to help find all those spooks and I think it looks really good it's a nice minifigure scale so it's going to look really good um, flying around well not flying around driving around our city um, so yeah I'm really glad I was finally able to get my hands on this set and I enjoy building this it's a quick build it's not a, a long build um, but you wouldn't expect that anyway given that it's a, a kind of minifigure scale kind of the, the bigger Ecto-1 that they've recently uh, released it'll obviously be a bit longer build because it's such a, a big kind of model but this one looks really really good some nice little details I love this kind of tube you can see on the outside here and how they've put the, the fin on the back of the, the car and then just the normal kind of details you would expect you know things like the license plate and the Ghostbusters symbol there and then how this top looks as well it, it is really really good and using those kind of like one by one studs and stuff to make it look like it's you know all kind of equipment that the uh, guys would use on their missions so we're going to put this upstairs and place it in our city and we also have the dream team there themselves the original ghostbusters i'm sure we can find somewhere for them to be on the city and take them off this stand which is a bit of a shame but i kind of feel like they need to be around in our city to make sure it's nice and safe from any of those scary ghosts so there we go we've popped ecto-1 in the city driving around it's just at the moment located outside palace cinema as you can see on the new road plates it's quite a tight squeeze it's a bit too wide but Ah, it doesn't matter, it just looks great having it in the city there, doesn't it? Um, Ghostbusters themselves, we've just popped on our shelves for now. Um, and then when we get to the phase where we actually put minifigures on the streets and things like that, we'll probably make some sort of ghost fighting scene. But for now, I'm really happy to have our Ecto-1 in the city. So that is it for our video today guys and girls. So as you've seen we've built the Lego Ideas Ghostbusters Ecto-1 set and now our city is nice and protected against any spooks or ghosts. Have you got the set? I know it's a little bit old now, you might have built it years and years ago, but what did you think? Do you like it? Do you think there's a better version of the Ecto-1 out there? I know there was the 2016 version from the female Ghostbusters. Did you think that one was better? Or is this one a better representation of that iconic vehicle? Okay, so that's all really is for today guys. But I would love to hear back from you as always. So please drop a comment in or head on over to our other social media channels okay so as always if you haven't done so already please like and subscribe to our channel or head on over to instagram and find us at dailies underscore bricks say hi and drop us a message okay so until next time guys we'll see you then have fun bye